Hello everyone, today's topic is blood platelets of the circulatory system. We have already discussed on the components of blood in our earlier slides of RBC and WBC. So today we are going to discuss in detail about platelets or thrombocytes. Platelets or thrombocytes, the initiators of blood clotting. Platelets are non-nucleated, minute, oval or round structures which floats in the blood. These are about 2 lakhs to 4 lakhs per cc of blood present in an adult. Their lifespan is 3 to 5 days and they are destroyed mainly in the spleen. Platelets are derived from some giant cells called megakaryocytes in the red bone marrow. These are budded off from the megakaryocytes in a manner that each one is completely surrounded with the membrane. Platelets are very important in the blood clotting process. At the site of injury, the platelets disintegrate and release a chemical substance called thrombokinase. Thrombokinase initiates the process of clotting of blood. As you can see in the figure, the whole blood has been fractionated and it separates into three components. This separation is typically done by centrifugation. The middle coat or the buffy coat is the thin layer which consists of platelets and leukocytes. The upper layer is a clear solution of blood plasma and the lower layer consists of red blood cells or erythrocytes. Clotting of blood or coagulation. When a blood vessel is cut, blood oozes out from it but soon a clot is seen to be formed on the wound and the flow of blood is stopped. If it were not so, the injured person would bleed to death. The diagrams show how when a blood vessel is damaged, a plug is formed by the platelet at the site of the injury. The plug which is formed by the platelets at the site of injury forms a thread-like structure made up of fibrin. This fibrin forms a mesh with the RBCs and ultimately forms a clot. Clotting process occurs in a series of steps. The injured tissue cells and the platelets which disintegrate at the site of the wound release a substance called thrombokinase or thromboplastin. It is also known as factor X or Stewart factor. This thrombokinase acts as an enzyme and with the help of calcium ions which is present in the plasma, it converts a substance called prothrombin which is inactive into active thrombin. This thrombin in the presence of calcium ions reacts with the soluble fibrinogen of the plasma and converts it into insoluble fibrin. Fibrin is a solid substance that forms thread-like structures. These fibrin threads are sticky and they form a network or mesh at the site of the wound. Red blood cells are trapped in the network of the fibrin and the network then shrinks and squeezes out the rest of the plasma in the form of a clear liquid, the serum. The solid mass which is left behind is called clot or thrombus. The blood clotting process can be shown in a test tube. If some blood is taken in a test tube, a clot will form in the same manner and the serum will be squeezed out from the clot and will collect on the surface. As shown in the figure, the left test tube contains coagulated blood. This is a fresh clot that consists of fibrin strands, corpuscles and serum. After keeping the test tube for some time, a clot is seen to be formed that has separated from the serum. If the number of platelets falls to an abnormally low count, then also the coagulation occurs very slowly and often leads to hemorrhage. Such a situation occurs in certain diseases as in the viral dengue fever. Blood Groups the process of injecting blood into the body of patients undergoing surgical operation is called blood transfusion. Blood taken from a healthy person known as the donor is introduced into the patient's veins. But for doing so, it is necessary that the kind or the type of blood to be transfused should be compatible with the type of blood of the receiving person known as recipient. There are two major systems of blood grouping the ABO system and the RH system. Now let's talk about the ABO system. According to the ABO system, the human blood is classified into four types. A, B, AB and O. A person with O type is called universal donor. 
O type blood can be given to persons of all types of blood that is to O, A, B and AB. A person with AB type of blood can receive blood from all types and is called universal recipient. AB type person can receive blood from AB, A, B and O. A person with A blood group can receive blood from A and O types only. Similarly, a person with B blood group can receive blood from B and O type only. The second blood grouping system is called RH system. The blood of most people contains a substance called RH factor. This RH stands for racers or a common monkey in which the factor was first discovered. They can be of two types, RH positive and RH negative. Now let's talk about the RH system in brief. The blood of an RH positive individual is transfused into an RH negative individual. This is the first transfusion. The RH negative individual gets sensitized within two weeks of the transfusion and develops antibody. Now if a second transfusion is given to such RH negative person, the antibody which is produced by the first transfusion causes a reaction with the transfused blood which may even lead to death. This RH factor is very important during pregnancy. An RH negative woman may become sensitive if she carries an RH positive child in her uterus. The first RH positive child will be normal. But if it sensitizes the mother and the second positive child if conceived soon may have blood trouble sometimes can lead to the death of the fetus and abortion. Thank you for watching and listening.